Hey Star Wars fans and Star Wars action figure collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. This is a big one. This is brand new. This is Cad Bane. This is the exclusive uh, European convention exclusive. Um, before anyone asks, I did pay pretty solid overs for this thing. Um, just to get it sooner. I've been really, really looking forward to Cad Bane for a long time. He is one of my favorite characters, uh, one of my favorite additions to the Star Wars universe from the Clone Wars. And uh, this figure looks spectacular. Um, now he will be getting a regular release uh, in the regular Black Series line, so maybe early next year, maybe very late this year. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet, um, so definitely stay tuned. If you don't get a chance to get this version, um, he will be coming out soon. Uh, whether he, whether the single release will come with Toto 360, they usually um, throw collectors a bit of a bone in these, you know, deluxe sort of packages um, or exclusives that they don't normally put in the regular line, uh, which is another reason why I wanted it. So it does slide open to reveal CAD, Toto, and his blasters at the top there does have very nice artwork on the side and on the back does have that same artwork and a little bio a ruthless bounty hunter from the planet Duro no quarry has was too dangerous for Cad Bane if the price was right so let's take a look at the figure I'm definitely opening this one all right, here we have Cad Bane, and I'm going to go out and say that this could be the figure of the year, at least for my collection anyway. This <laughs> this is an absolute dream come true for a Clone Wars fanatic like myself. Um, we'll, we'll firstly, we'll get into Cad Bane, but we'll firstly get a quick look at Toto 360 here. Now, he, is, he was voiced by uh, Seth Green in the Clone Wars. Um, he had quite a funky little personality. Um... And this figure comes with actually pretty good articulation and detail. He looks really good. Uh, the only thing I feel like he's missing is pot potentially a small stand so that he could hover in midair. Um, but that's okay. I think I've got something, I've got an idea in mind anyway. So he looks great. Uh, he has little ball sockets in his arms. Ball socket in the head. Ball socket in the legs and the feet. So you can get some pretty cool movement you have him flying along. He looks great. Absolutely fantastic little addition. Oh, and there is some spinning articulation there as well. I only just noticed that right now, so... Bit of a swivel there. You can have him on one side, leaning to a side. Fantastic. This is Toto. We'll put him aside. Now let's go look at the man of the hour. Boy golly, what a figure this is. <laughs> oh, I'm seriously blown away. Yeah, look at that face sculpt. Everything on this figure is just meticulously done. It's stunning. Um, pop his hat off, obviously. A really close look, head sculpt. Check that out. Oh, <laughs> he's so damn fantastic. The hat fits really nice and snug. That's not going to flick off. I'm just hitting that. Oh, well, there you go. It does. But um, for the most part, that sits on really well. You get it the right way, I think. I don't think it matters. Um, just looking at his sort of duster coat, I'll sort of make my way down the figure and we'll get a good look. This has got his uh, sort of breathing tube sort of thing uh, that hangs on the back. That wasn't unlike the three and three quarter counterparts that the Cad Bane figures had. He has his satchel, which is uh, loosely hung on his shoulder, but it sits nice and well. His duster coat goes all the way down. His sort of ammunition belts underneath. Nice weathering on his undershirt there, which looks fantastic. Um, collar of his shirt at his neck. A 
and these sort of hoses that are coming out from under his duster coat attaching to his uh, gauntlets which he uses to um, move his uh, jet thrusters that he have on his, has on his boots and we'll get to that in a minute but yeah nicely sculpted duster coat that looks really good see these holsters that are a nice loose fit um, and they look like they'll fit the blasters in so I'm not even going to demonstrate that um, the blasters themselves look great fit really nice and snug in the hands They're nicely painted and they would look great in the holster um, he did have like a, almost like a shotgun sort of rifle at one stage in the Clone Wars and that would have been a cool accessory too but I'll take what I've got because uh, this is so good uh, he's got his sort of cowboy chaps and the articulation for his upper leg is hidden in there that looks great the way that's sculpted around the knees you can barely even tell from the front that there is knee articulation but there absolutely is fantastic got his jetpack thrusters which do articulate as well brilliant absolutely brilliant those boots look fantastic i'm just freaking blown away by this by this figure guys i really am um cad bane <laughs> i know i paid a little bit extra to get him get him reasonably early um i do not regret a single thing just love that face sculpt that snarl it's got that real sort of old clint eastwood sort of swagger and snarl about him that's so good I'm seriously in the mood to watch some Cad Bane episodes of Clone Wars now so yeah the articulation is as follows he has a ball jointed head he has a ball joint in the neck with those beautiful neck joints um, ball hinged shoulders and yep butterfly joints in the front too uh, so you can get some really good nice tight articulation and movement there uh, ball hinges in the elbows which you can barely notice but they're there um, some pretty good movement in them too great angle he has an upper torso joint there just in above those buttons there uh, ball hinge in the hips uh, the swivels at the thighs as I mentioned before joints in the knees and those beautiful pinless joints Whew, well done Hasbro um, and ball hinged ankles so kudos hasbro for an absolutely outstanding figure this opens things up so much for the future uh for what we can expect quality wise from the black series and uh with the old price rise here if they're coming out this good I can kind of justify it um so i'd love to hear what you think in the comments below if you want to subscribe subscribe to the channel uh give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see and uh I'll be back very soon with some more Star Wars action figure reviews and much more. So until then, may the Force be with you. Always.